Canada because these companies are too powerful. For example, fossil fuel prices are subsidized and kept artificially cheap. Fifth and final. Jack Dunn says that he admires my passion and commitment to this issue. <laughs> he says in his response that he doesn't want to take anything away from us. Thank you. <coughs> I deem that an outright lie. We now have a student on disciplinary probation for organizing an event that she was not even at. Furthermore, I was personally told by an administrator that once we held a successful rally in December, BC changed the student demonstration code so that individual students could no longer receive permits for demonstration. You took that away from us. And as a result, I received a disciplinary letter last month. You put yourself in my shoes, Jack. Imagine talking to your mother on the phone and having her say to you, please lay low until your financial aid gets approved because she and I are actually in fear. Fear that because I speak my mind on campus for something that may not be popular, my status as a student will be compromised. Imagine also having to explain to your mother that when you will not have children, because if business continues to run as usual, you don't want to bring someone into a world like that. Thank you, Jack. Woo! I appreciate that you respect my passion, but I reject your condescension and I reject your rejection. Yeah. You will win. Hi, thank you guys. You guys are doing great. I'm absurdly cold, and I can only imagine.